Hey guys, Minzy Bell here, and what the heck did I just do? <laughs> Get out of that. Get out of that. There we go. Whatever. <laughs> it worked. Um, you're probably wondering why we're back in... Okay, I promise I'm not drunk. You're probably wondering why we're back in Santa Monica. And I need to go check my mail. Check my email check something else in my haven and um then we should be going to chinatown as long as there's nothing else i need to do we should be set to go to chinatown i really want to go to chinatown this episode i really really do so okay we're good and let's go oh there's danzel hello stop it that's Danzel. Wow. She ain't got no shirt on. Hi. Master? Hey, you can actually see Danzel better. <laughs> okay. So we got Jeanette, Vivi, um, what was it? Zhao, Ming, whatever. Ming Zhao. I had it backwards. Sorry. And then Danzel. And I have two emails. Um, my friend. My friend is alive because of you. Many thanks. And you interrupted the ritual as well. I heard. Uh, as, ritual as well, I heard. We will take care of the coffin for now. Just remember no word of this to LaCroix. He doesn't like it when people act on their own. Yeah. And, okay, this is from... Yeah, you remember Pirate Town Boss? The pool toy I gave to Shirley Temple. Oh, hello. And that movie has been seen somewhere downtown. Seems someone borrowed it from the archives to sell it on eBay. Sentimental scum. Like, sentimental scum that I am. I just can't let this happen. We'll swap for a poster of... Oh, Lord. Oh, she's dead now. Okay. I actually had that. Now I know why I needed it. Awesome. I don't know why I just spelled that out. I can now figure out the keys again. I can now get this away. Blood on it too. And I keep pushing all the wrong buttons because I, um, I re-downloaded Minecraft and I've been playing that like non-stop for like ever. So, wait. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry. Still wrong buttons. I Did he want me to put it in the mailbox? Is that what he said? I guess so. Let's see. I'm sorry. <laughs> Please forgive me. I keep pushing all the wrong buttons. <sighs> okay, let's try this again. So put that in there. So, it might. God damn it! I'm gonna get this event right eventually. So. I need to go buy some regular blood packs. Okay. Oh, real quick, when we do go to Chinatown, since I'm not gonna have to buy this, I'm just gonna put this on, but not until I get into Chinatown and I find the store that I have to buy it in. But until. But. Until then, I will not put it on. When I find the store that I'm supposed to buy it at, I will put it on then. So. But first, before we go to Chinatown, because I did that. I have to go to Chinatown and do that. I have to go to Chinatown and do that. I'm working on this one. I have not found where that is yet. I've completely given up on that. So. We're going to run and grab some blood just like the regular blood packs since apparently I used all mine I did not realize that <laughs> so we will um <clears throat> we'll get some blood packs fill up on all that and then run to Chinatown and see what's going on there and have to go see um Ming Zhao I said it right this time hello it's I don't want to talk to you just give me some blood Give me all your blood. 
So, go up on that. Now we run this way. And then we'll go past the cabin, go to Chinatown, and see what's going on there. See if we can find Gary's buddy, wherever he is. I guess I'd have to ask um, Ming about that. See if she knows where he is. All right. Hello, buddy. Going Maybe. Okay, Chinatown. Yes, we're going to Chinatown. I would have been so upset if we didn't go to Chinatown this episode because I've been wanting to go for the past few episodes now. <laughs> so, I'll be quiet because I'm sure something will happen. Or not. Usually something happens, but I guess not. Hmm. This would be fun trying to learn all this again. Chinatown! Alright, now that I'm in Chinatown, I need to find him. Okay, first I need... She's in the Golden Temple? Um... Nope. Don't think so. Okay. Restaurant. I'm a dumb, I'd say it was that. Okay. I'm just gonna go straight in here. Yes, I can. Okay. So we're gonna go in here and go talk to her. Um let's see what's up. Let's see if she can help us. <laughs> Real quick. Are both my dogs in here? Yes, they are. Sorry, I just I what the hell? Okay. I have my door open right now and I was wasn't sure if they were in here or not. Or they were chasing each other because they tend to do that. Hello. Welcome, Kindred. And thank you for respecting our traditions by announcing your presence in our domain. I am Ming Zhao, High Priestess to the people of Chinatown. Can I get you anything? Tea, perhaps? Ready? No, no tea, thank you. I rather learn a little about, little bit about your people. I thought you should know. I killed one of your spies in Santa Monica. I don't want to tell her that. Um, no, no tea, thank you. Ah, that is right. Your kind drink solely of mortal blood, correct? No longer may you partake in the simple pleasures of the mortal realm. A shame. Okay, my kind. What exactly is your kind? You can. Okay, just my kind? We are called the Kuei Jin, though you may know us as Eastern Vampires. It is a grave misnomer, I can assure you. Okay. Are you the leader of these Kuei Jin? Are you descendant of Cain? Oh, I'm just gonna keep going first one. In a sense, yes. You may think of me as the Baron of Chinatown, to borrow from your course, Cainite language. Are you a descendant of Cain? <laughs> no. We are not simply some exotic Cainite bloodline. But you are a vampire? <laughs> we are supernatural. That does not mean we are like yourself. We are beings returned through the second breath for a purpose. Okay. Um, second breath? The second breath. Our rebirth into the supernatural form. It is a spiritual awakening, not some lowly blood ritual meant to spread a despicable curse. But we are similar. Oh, I get it. You're angels and we're just lowly bloodsuckers. Um, but we're similar? We share superficial similarities. Quajin feed on essences that can be found in blood, yes. But as we refine our existence, rarely are we lowered to consume the bodily fluids of others. How else are we similar? So as a mortal, you can choose to become super... Uh, just how are we similar? Most of us are also banished from the realm of the sun. Although we suffer rot instead of burning, the day's light is no more kind to our existence. You, you rot. So as a mortal, you can choose to become a super... Whatever. No, we do not choose. But events of our lives can awaken dark spiritual energies. We are not born of the whims of another as the kindred are. So why are you... 
why are some chosen to become supernatural? The reasons are as numerous as the Quajin themselves. Each is reborn with a purpose that they must find. Once their path is evident, they must seek to fulfill it, even if it takes eternity. It's never it sounds as much of a curse as the embrace of Cain. Mm, whatever. On the contrary, it is another chance for us to find our place in the universe. A chance for transcendence. We are not damned, not burdened with an ancient guilt, as in the legend of your biblical progenitor. Speak of legends, have you... Okay, there we go. Of course. The entire city is alight with news of its arrival and speculation about one of your ancient vampire grandfathers and his evil apocalyptic plot. I don't know if I was supposed to tell her about that, but you know what? I don't really give a shit. I take it you don't believe in that. Do you know where- I doubt she does. Um, I take it you don't believe in that. Kuei Jin do not share your history, nor do we share in your false prophecies. I don't believe this shit. I could care less. <laughs> um, yes, it all does seem rather silly, doesn't it? It all serves to distract the kindred. Such a distasteful existence you live, skulking in the shadows, fighting for scraps and fearing the return of your fictitious fathers, completely oblivious to your true purpose. Why do you move so much? I just realized she's moving a whole lot. I don't remember everyone else moving a ton. Do you know the true history of the kindred? <sighs> Sorry. I haven't got much sleep today. I think I've slept for like what? Maybe two, three hours? So, within the past 48 hours, let me tell you that. <clears throat> um, and I suppose you know everyone's true purpose? No, I do not. But with my help, you might find the path you were meant for. Instead, you stumble through the afterlife, a meaty remnant still clinging to the mortal mm -hmm. rib. Do you know? We seek it, of course. I have two of my best agents looking. It could be a powerful bargaining tool. Who are you, agents? Let me just say that I do not encourage you to seek the Ankaran sarcophagus. Look, I don't want to have to go look for it, but I have to. I have no freaking choice. What can I help you with? Everything. Um, there we go. I'm looking for a Miss Nosferatu. So. The great Nosferatu have lost an agent, have they? It was not by my hand, if that's what they think. No, we're just asking you if you know where it is. Do you have any idea? I don't know where he is. Perhaps you should speak with Wong Ho about this. Who is Wong Ho? Wong Ho owns the Red Dragon Restaurant. Saw that. He's a prominent businessman who has garnered much respect among his people. If something is amiss in Chinatown, he may know how to help you. Mm, can I ask you anything else? What can I help you with? Okay, tell me about the creature. There is much kindred have to learn about our ways. Oh gosh, it's just gonna be a learning episode. Um, tell me about society. Yes. Oh my god. I am not in the mood for learning. Um. It's the first one. On the contrary, it is another chance for us to find our place in the universe. A chance for transcendence. We are not damned, not burdened with an ancient guilt, as in the legend of your biblical progenitor. Um. Fuck it, I have to go. I grant you permission to operate in the Quajin domain. For now, may you find your path, kindred. Thanks. I'll come back and ask her later. I really don't. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I am too tired to freaking learn things right now. We'll come back, like, probably next episode then. But I've actually had more than, like, two or three hours of sleep within the last 48 hours. <sighs> I could- What the fuck? Okay. Why am I stopped? Oh no, there we go. Yeah, how Mac was safe for me. I could go to sleep right now. You're probably wondering why don't you go to sleep? Well, I've tried. Every time I try to go to sleep, I'm like freaking get wide awake. I don't know why. That always happens, so 
Um, I'll probably try to go to sleep after this. I don't know. Where the fuck did they go? But for now, I'm just going to say... Uh! Um... What you doing? I don't know if I should be witnessing this. a moment. Girl! What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, snap! I'm all up in her face. Okay. Oh, shit. I hit... I hate that. I always hit freaking shift. And shift just makes her go from running to walking. Oh. I gotta watch. Okay. Well, I'm gonna walk over, <laughs> I'm gonna walk over here and get away from that. I have no idea where these people went. Oh well. That girl's out of luck now. Let's see. You get to learn this map now. I've actually forgotten what I was talking about now because that just... Uh, it threw me for a loop. And now I've lost what I was talking about. Oh well. <laughs> I'm so confused. Okay, um... How do I get back up? Okay. Around here. Yeah, there's a taxi. So I go back up front. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> Maybe I'll be able to sleep after this. Probably not. Not me. I probably won't end up being able to fall asleep. Oh. Okay. Delicious. Okay, so someone help me. Can I help you? Can I? Um, I'm sorry. Dinner service stopped a little while ago, but our lounge is still open. There we go. I'll get the elevator. Thank you. Second floor. Have a good night. Goodbye. First up. Ooh, fancy. Up I go. Up I go. No. Yes. No. There, there we go. Yes. Maybe. Hello. to rush home right away. Yeah? Oh, I do like that. <laughs> what else? Uh. With a what? <gasps> oh, you're in the kitchen. Yeah, they were on sale, so I bought some. You do too like zucchini. Um. Alrighty. <laughs> Whatever. It's gonna... It's gonna let that... Ooh. Throwing star. I have a throwing star. No! That was a very, um, interesting conversation. Nope, I'm back up here now. Is it this, like, doors? Yes, it is. I don't remember these. These are awesome. It's a big-ass computer screen, dude! Fucking magic. Look at you. Look at you. You're magical. This is a magical game. <laughs> they took her. They took her. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, um, who did they take? Kiki. 
My daughter. They grabbed her. They called and said, Wong Ho has meddled with Tong for the last time. That was your daughter. Okay. Ming Zhao? Oh, of course. Please forgive me, but as you can see, I am in a most terrible situation. I am Wang Ho, owner of the Red Dragon. Again, I apologize for my inconsiderate behavior. You're fine. No problem. What's going on here? Um, no problem. The Tong. A local street gang here in Chinatown just broke into my restaurant and kidnapped my daughter at gunpoint. The Tong grow more bold every day, and now they have my Kiki. Okay, I got some new clothes. Take her. That makes Mama angry. Do you know where she is? I go get her. I'm Mama now? Okay. No. <clears throat> the Tong have many... Uh, wait. Please... Dude, I didn't me. hear that. Hello. Zhao. Huh? Yes. How did you... Of course... I see. Thank you, my friend. Your debt has been repaid a thousand times over. Yes. Of course. Goodbye. Dude, you're magic. You're freaking magic. First you're talking without even holding the phone to your ear. Then you had to your ear and then you made it disappear. Dude, you're freaking magic. That was someone who owed me an old debt. It has been repaid. I know where the tongue are keeping my daughter. Well, tell me. Just tell me where and someone better call corner. Kiki is being held at the Lotus Blossom, a massage parlor here in Chinatown. If you bring her back to me, I will help you in any way that I can. All right. Of course, I'll bring her back. Thank you. I shall wait here until you return. Strike fast. The tongue will not be expecting anyone so soon. Good luck, my friend. Oh, wrong thing. See ya. Try to hit the one, it didn't work. Yeah, close your door for you. I'll close that door. <laughs> and then that's it. Alright, so. Let's get the hell out of here. If I can hit the button. Alright, so. That's all we gotta do. La 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 la. la. Am I moving? Am I moving now? Now I'm moving. Sometimes you just... Hi. You just can't tell. Alright. I actually want to try to see if I can find some shops, too. Because I want to... Ah, something in my eye. I'm going to put um that armor on. That armor. The new outfit on. Well, it's like her... Okay. It's like her body armor. That place? What's this place? Well, I'm just gonna try to hit all the places that are around here. Well, now. Aren't you something? Hi. Hi. Welcome to Sang's Herbal Remedies. I am Sang. How may I assist you? Alright. <laughs> you don't seem like the type to sell. <sighs> Selling remedies is honest work. I came to America after discharge from Chinese um, uh, herbal remedies courses. <laughs> To help aging parents with store. Definitely, I am now American citizen. God bless the allegiance flag. Uh, I need a remedy for the tongue problem. Tong, did you try diplomacy? <laughs> Didn't work. Anything else? Hold on, please. These are good remedies for many problems. No credit cards. Works with me. <laughs> oh my God, that's freaking awesome. Swords, swords, swords. Hmm. I wonder if there's another store here. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to hit up all the stores that are around here. And if, see, I don't know if they're gonna have it there because I have the outfit. Hmm. Come in here. Nope. Oh. How about in here? Okay, go in here. Yes, I can go in there. All right. So I'll hit up all the stores, see if they have it. And if they don't, I'm just going to put it on just say, because I know one of these will. Maybe you have it. 
There is something in this store for everybody. You have two different color eyes, dude. <clears throat> Everyone gets what they deserve. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> I'm fucking creeped out now. I'm reminded of a story. A thief named Lin was asked to steal an emerald for the head of his gang. The gem belonged to a man in a Hong Kong triad. Most would refuse this danger, but Lin was anxious to do it, and indeed he did. Uh huh? When Lin returned, he did not want to part with the emerald he stole. He felt that the trouble he went through to take it made his ownership legitimate. The man who hired him did not feel the same way. Nor did the man he stole it from. Do you know what happened to Lin? He stole the emerald, made a lot of money, and bought a network. I don't know, Dad. Are you Lin? No. Damn! Lin was caught. One man has his gem back, but Lin's employer has nothing. I'd heard this tale from him when he visited my store. Sadly, I had nothing to sell him. So? Lin's eyes wanted more than his hands could keep. Ambitious eyes are, sadly, not for sale here at the moment. Though I do have a buyer interested. Do you know when the next eye harvest is, by what chance? What the fuck? Uh, eye harvest? Lin's body is being kept in a freezer in the back of a local news shop by here. There are people there who want him intact. But I think his eyes would fill my shelf nicely if they were to wander in. I gouge hell. A fitting punishment for Lin. That's sick. I'll get him. <laughs> oh, I like that. I knew you would. What other reason to waste words on the ill-fated? Okay. What's your story? How rude of me not to introduce myself. You may call me Mr. Ox. This is my shop. Do you find it interesting? There are no two like it on the road to hell. You sell weapons? I sell things many would find cruel, but weapons, no. Okay. No. Damn. All right, I'm out of here. So now I gotta find the noodle shop. Wasn't it just like across the street or was it next door? It was one of those two. We'll see. I know I should be going get Kiki, but she'll be fine. <laughs> she'll be okay for right now. She'll live. All right. I believe this is a noodle shop. I won't go in the front. Um, I'm gonna. Oh, I'm just gonna do this one right. Okay, right now, just because I'm already here and it's right there. So let's go ahead and get some eyes. <laughs> so we understand him. And I'm invisible. Shit! I hit I hate that I keep freaking hitting the god damn it. You keep hitting um Yeah Look into your soul. I keep hitting shift and she keeps walking. Okay. Get out of here. Go back to, um, what do you say? Mr. Ox. There we go. I almost forgot what his name was for a second. Ah! Nah! Hi. <laughs> Everybody is just running into me. I seriously, from a distance, I thought that was a person. Damn. Maybe I need to go get my itch checked. 
I mean, I have my glasses on, but... <laughs> you are always welcome here. Hi. Here are the eyes. Mm. Yes. They stare ambitiously. Hello, Lin. Do you like it there? These are an excellent addition to my shop. Here, please accept this as a fair trade. I have another task. If it piques your curiosity. Okay, let's hear it. I need you to be a bad luck farmer. Do you know what this no, is? No, what the fuck is this? No, what a... Why didn't you tell me? A customer has bought an unlucky talisman from me and wishes it delivered to an enemy of theirs. I need you to place this in the locker of a patron at the Lotus Blossom Massage mm. Parlor so that the bad luck can bloom. I have to go there anyways. My customer has placed a black circle on his enemy's locker. Plant to talisman. Bad luck, farmer. <laughs> You're one strange dude. Sure, whatever. Okay. Can't mm. keep going there. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, these all the shops. Get on. Um, I may. Mm. Well, there's Lotus Blossom. Um. There's Dungshar. There's Bad Luck Talisman. Oh, there's a heart. Mm. Alright, um. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and stop it here. And, um. I'm gonna let you guys decide if. I should go ahead and just put this on. I'm not putting this one on with the armor thing. I'm just going to put this one on because I know this is the one you buy here. And apparently, I don't know if there's any other shops. Because usually there's only like one or two shops in a place. So, I'm not going to put it on right now. But before I go in here, I'm going to let you guys decide if I should... Um, hold on. If I should put this on or not go ahead and put it on so but i'm gonna go ahead and end here so i will see you guys later bye